Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Linda's Daughter Donna. It's my first day back into the office for several weeks. I decided to go in, haven't seen my co-workers in a little while. There's so much traffic on the road, I, I almost forgot what traffic feels like on a weekday morning. But I am managing and I am being very, very careful. I am going with high expectations to have a very productive day. My prayer is that everybody get off to work safely. Kids get off to work safely, that our commute is safe. I do have things that I have had on the table that I've planned to do and just have been able to do it. Like meal, meal prep. I have my jars on my table. I have the vegetables and I think I have all my ingredients in the refrigerator. I need to make these vegetable or salad jars. Usually when I drive in and I get home, I feel like I'm so tired from driving back and forth. I planned for a couple of weeks to bake a pumpkin pie. And because the, you know, getting it the pie shell or making it from scratch, I, I just wasn't able to do that. Instead, I tried my hand at making pumpkin empanadas, which I, I, it was a test run, nothing that I could have put on video. And I did make a pumpkin bread, which I don't even think a crumb was left. Those were all test runs. I never, I could not have vlogged it. Definitely not. But now I know what I'm doing. So hopefully I'll be able to put up a video soon. I really think as a YouTuber, as a vlogger, we encourage each other to do certain things. And that's so awesome. That's so awesome. I see some folks sending um, or giving recipes to other YouTubers on how to do stuff. And I think that's so good. That's so good. It's a wonderful community. This is what the world needs. We need love, we need peace, and we need to be neighborly. It doesn't matter watch what uh, geography you're in, what area of the world you're in. We need peace and love. Even though my pumpkin bread was a test run, it was pretty good. Even my husband ate it. And I don't know if he, I, I'm gonna have to tell him. I'm gonna have to tell him. I don't even think he knows it was a pumpkin bread. One of the reasons why he enjoyed it so much is that I did not use as much sugar as the recipe that I was, you know, loosely following required. Gotta ask my daughter how she liked it. She loved the pumpkin empanadas. Definitely something that she mentioned we should put on our Thanksgiving menu. Why did I miss my... No, the other exit is mine. See, that's the reason why I have to pay attention because it's been so long that I drove into the office that I think I am, I almost missed my exit, but it's the next one coming up. Let's all have a wonderful day today. Praise be to God. The traffic was not too bad once I got past a certain area. So I'm just breezing in. I wish I could show you the fall foliage on this trip into work. It is, the leaves are, you know, turning reds and burgundy and brown and yellow and it's just so beautiful. Anyhow, enjoy your day. This is not the end of this video, but I'll certainly talk with you guys later. Yay, back at it. End of another work day. And I'm on my way home. Very productive. Learned a couple of new things. I have some happy customers. 
or at least one. I got some goodies. I made a little haul at work today. I had some gifts waiting for me. My manager treated me to lunch and it's beautiful outside. It has to be about 80 degrees right now and I'm loving every bit of it. I am thankful, I'm uber thankful. Now, Lord, I ask that this traffic will be light and, you know, you got to pray going to work and you got to pray going home. Anybody guess? It's 5 o'clock on my way home. What do you think is on my mind right now? What do you think is top priority for me to be thinking about? See, I'm giving you one, two, three. Anybody guessed as yet? Put in the comment, what do you think I was thinking about? All right, I'm gonna give you a little break. What's for dinner? That's a mommy thing. That's what moms have to think about and wives have to think about in the household. What's for dinner? And guess what? Today, I am not going to ask anybody what they want for dinner. Between now and the time I get home, I would either have, I will have to stop. I'm gonna stop and, and get dinner because at this point in time, I really don't know what I could cook as quickly. We had pasta yesterday, or spaghetti, same thing. And I, we had that two days in a row. Yesterday was the leftovers. I could probably go home and make breakfast for dinner. Normally, that includes eggs done some kind of way, Okay, buddy, let's ease up, let's ease up. All right, um, eggs and potatoes. I was not a woman of my word. I said I was not going to ask anybody what they want for dinner. I called home and I made the suggestion of peppers and onions and eggs and potato. And of course, the answer was, or the response was, all right, let's just do cheesesteaks for dinner. I did say I was going to stop and get dinner as an option, so cheesesteak it is. I can't believe I used to do this five days a week. And I know a lot of companies are thinking about getting back full-time in the office. Oh, I'm glad I'm going this way because I need gas. Yeah, a lot of people do this now. But hybrid, I could do hybrid. I mean, whatever the company says we have to do, I'll do. But doing this five days a week, man. The thing is, our bodies and our minds were used to doing it. So really wasn't um, a big deal. We never thought about it. I am thankful I have a job. Thankful for my company. Thankful for great upper management. I mean, top level, top level uh, leaders that are very, very people oriented. My grandson told me this weekend. You know, when we were talking about things for him to eat, he loves cherries, frozen cherries. I kind of like those too. I love coconut yogurt and a particular brand. And I will stick that in the freezer for about an hour before it's time to eat it. Maybe even two hours. So it's like eating frozen yogurt. And sometimes I'll buy frozen cherries and I'll drop a couple of frozen cherries in there. I will talk with you guys when I get home. Maybe I'll share with you what I'm having for dinner. 
So hang tight until I go pick up the cheesesteak and he'll sit with me and maybe have dinner with me. Cheesesteak and fries in hand. Time to go home. It's been a long day. When you're getting old, sometimes just a little bad move and feel like your knee talk back to you and say, take it easy, girl. That's what that pool was all about. All right. I'm looking forward to the weekend, but one day at a time, right? One day at a time. I think I'm gonna have company for dinner. Other than my husband, that is. Let's see if my daughter, who was the one calling me? She's going to hang around until I get there. So dinner is definitely tasty. I got a 11 inch hoagie, which was split between me and my hubby. And I'm having avocado with mine. So tonight, this was a good choice by him. Maybe I'll do breakfast for dinner tomorrow night. Who knows? Anywho, I'm so glad you could chat with me today. I'm signing off right now. Remember, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share, share these videos with a friend. See you soon.